Greetings once again, Carol Fitzgerald here from veganrecipesforhealth.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make something that's not vegan. I've mentioned this before, I'm a vegan, I'm the only vegan in my family, I have five children, five grandchildren, and extended family of course, and I am the only vegan. So what does that mean? That means that I have to prepare foods that my family will eat too, along with my own vegan foods. And also there may be some of you watching who happened upon my YouTube channel or my website who are not vegan and you might like my non-vegan dishes. I don't share too many of them on the website here or on my YouTube channel but uh, I thought of this today because my husband went out, he loves egg salad and we're going to make egg salad today. And I've already chopped up some of the eggs. And anyway, he goes out and buys egg salad when I don't have it made because he eats quite a bit of it. And he always comes home and doctors it up like mine. Everybody loves my egg salad like everybody loves my guacamole. So I'm telling you, this is the best ever egg salad recipe, bar none. So we're going to get started here. I've got some of the eggs chopped up. And I wanted to show you this egg slicer if you haven't seen one like this before. I had a very old one. This is fairly new. I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. My old one broke and I was so disappointed. It was just so perfect. This one is good enough, but my other one was really great. Anyway, you put the egg in one way and if you just wanted to use this as a garnish, you could use those slices like that to, to garnish a dish of some sort. But I turn it around so that it's um, chopped even more. Um, if you are making deviled eggs, you just slice the egg in half and use the same filling. You take out all the yolks and mash them in a bowl and then do everything I'm going to do for the egg salad. And then refill them with a spoon. And then you've got deviled eggs. My family absolutely loves my egg salad and deviled eggs. And whenever I've taken deviled eggs to a gathering, everyone likes them too. So I'm going to show you what the recipe is. First of all, I will tell you if you have trouble hard cooking eggs, you, you put your eggs in a pan of water and cover them with water. And then you let the water come to a boil. You put the lid on it and turn it down to simmer. For soft boiled eggs that you might be wanting for breakfast, you cook for three minutes on simmer. For hard cooked eggs like this, and you can see how yellow the yolk is, have you ever gotten green yolks? It's because they're cooked too long. Green yolks and cooking too long uh, also renders a tough egg. So um, in order to hard cook the eggs so they're just perfect like this, again, put them in a pan of water, put the lid, let them come to a boil first. In my stove it takes about eight minutes. All stoves are different though. Put the lid on, turn it down to simmer, and let it cook for 10 minutes. If you're going to, don't want to be by the stove and don't have a timer or anything, um, you can take it off the stove, leave it covered, and let it sit for 20 minutes. So 10 minutes on simmer and 20 minutes off the heat entirely. And you get a perfect egg like this every time. So we're going to start now. I put Miracle Whip in mine. If I don't, if it, I don't use Miracle Whip and you, you, you use mayonnaise, regular mayonnaise, you're going to need a sweetener in it. So sometimes I've used mayonnaise and then I sweeten it with agave or some kind of the xylitol, not the artificial sweeteners because those are horrendous. So about a cup, you might, I might have to add a little more. I always kind of um, eyeball it and then if I need more. A little bit of pepper. Some sea salt, mustard, about a tablespoon and a half or so, and my vinegar. Vinegar. I just have some organic vinegar here. And about a cap full, I just measure it right in the cap and pour it in. And that's about a teaspoon. And then just mix it up. And as I said, you can make sandwiches with this. You can eat it just plain out of the bowl. You can put it on crackers. Once again, this is 
my, one of my family's favorites. So we'll mix that up like that. I think it's pretty well mixed. I have to employ Kennedy here to taste, just take a taste to tell me if I need anything. Salt? A little more salt, she says. Okay. You can bet she's going to say yes when I ask her if she wants any, <laughs> any uh, egg salad today. This is her favorite. So I'm just going to put this in this bowl. And if you're serving a larger portion than this, and you're going, or you're taking it to a gathering, and you do the same thing with the deviled eggs. Once the deviled eggs are all on a platter, and you're going to put the egg salad maybe on a platter, then you decorate it with uh, paprika. And there you have it. Best ever egg salad. Thanks for stopping by, and come back for another recipe. Bye now.